All right, this design is going to be a wave spring on the wave spring. Go ahead and grab the plane here and start your first sketch. Sketch is going to be a three inch diameter circle. So move that 150 to a three, enter, let it do its auto scaling. Next thing we want to do is we want to project a center line across the crosshairs here and then we want one at 45 on both sides. If it decides to do that perpendicular, go ahead and grab it and then run 45 here. Next thing we want to do is we want to put in reference points. So those are not these points, they're these points. And you want to drop them at each point on the quadrant of this unit. all the way around there should be eight. Say OK. Now this right here is where you start to see differences between the programs. Right now if we want this thing to happen again as a sketch you can pattern sketches. Only other program that will do this is Katia. So direction you can pick that middle axis right there and we want to project that thing up in the air the opposite direction right there uh, let's say I don't know one inch and hit OK and now you can see that sketch in there on the D line double click on this pattern hit D1 and move that down to 0.75 now double click again 0.6 and you can see how you can adjust that sketch parametrically on the design. Hit save, save it across. Now next thing we want to do is we want to create a reference curve through points and then start here at the top, go to the bottom, go to the top, go to the bottom, go to the top, go to the bottom, go to the top, go to the bottom and then this is how it gets hard trying to end it. Right there I'm on the curve so right button click and get the point. Once you have the point then we want to relate this curve tangent to this sidebar. Flip the arrow then we want to relate this curve tangent to this little arch bar and flip the arrow. So that's how they end up tangent to each other on the bar. Hit OK. Now you can hide the first two sketches or hide the pattern if you wish. And you see the curve that we have to use for the wave spring. Next operation we want to do is we want to grab that wave spring and we want to do a sweep operation. Uh, go ahead and grab that as if that's the arrow point right there and then start your sketch. And then you can orientate how you wish on this design. So right now if we look at orientating that would be the wrong way. We don't want front so let's try right or left. There we go. So you can see how it's orientating kind of to the curve of that, uh, to the bend of the curve. So what we might want to do there is we might want to put a different type of profile orientator. So I'm going to orientate to this unit here and I'm going to pick up a reference over here. That reference is going to be the underplane of the unit. So now if I orientate up on this thing you can see how the reference kind of relates. It's kind of hard the way it whips you around and changes you. You might have to whip around until you can see this thing somewhat flat and parallel. So now I would run parallel, this line to this profile line. And that's the one I want to relate to more than anything on the design. So now if I pick up rectangle and I start to pull across, see the issue? It's all crooked. So now watch what happens. If we pick up a rectangle called slanted, we can pick point, point, and then straight up on the design. So there would be our wa wave spring profile of our unit. We can pick up two dimensions, so I want a dimension for length, let's say point 
one eight three sixteenths and I'm gonna say sixteenth of an inch so sixty thou and then run sweep so now you can see the sweep going across on the design for that profile orientated with the profile uh, once you finish up there go ahead and hit save run over to applications rendering studio uh, let's drop a cool color on it so I like picking the model first then just dropping the color um, so there's an awesome little color looks pretty good for the design uh, run your rendering pick up wherever you're at on your model and drop in the rendering and you're good as gold talk to you guys later have a good day